Flame possess sacred art. Extra flame. Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another CJ, the champ of my champs reaction video. We are reacting to what well, might be my favorite one. He's gonna do Stink Mina, the personification of hatred. What's really good? If you don't know who Stink Mina is, where have you been? You live under a rock. Uh, he's a Boondocks character. Boondocks character is known for those moments, if you know what I mean. And and I say Stink Mina is Black Force Air activity. Uh, I personally didn't, you know, watch it, g grew up with it. I had a friend who introduced it to me. Shout out to you, my boy. I, I, you know who you is? Back in high school, he was like, hey, have you seen the Bulldogs? I'm like, no, what's that? Um, boy, you want to see some funny-ass stuff? I'm like, I bet he was not wrong. And my boy, Ryan Kage, he, oh, bro, me and him always quote it. Even to this day. We just a bunch. That's funny. I'm excited. Let's get started. Volumes up, people. I'll volume up. How could we <laughs> tell? The three Dance. exhibits. Do yes. Like a, a intensely or passionately. Damn. To the point where you completely detest and despise that. Is that new On shoes I smell? Basis. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just mm -hmm. in general. For an example, Reverse Flash. Facts. This man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a sub. There's the meme. Uh, I joked you off, Barry. Joked you off so fast that I felt like you, cool, at a woman's touch. Severe case of meat munching, hell eating. Then I was you know, we got your DOs, your Freezers, trash, no, Freeza ain't no trash. Nostril, Voldemort, how no one cares about him. And yo, you even got your scars. Facts. <laughs> Scar, please help me. Scar is full of hate. <laughs> All my homies hate Scar. Adios, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on yes, might sir. be one of the most despicable, vile, hey, disgusting, human beings despicable. that God's green earth. The Stink Mina. Of hatred, Colonel H. Stink Mina. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm so excited. Gummo, gummo, no. There it is. Exhibit A. I already know. This is the very first episode he got introduced in. To understand the philosophy of Stink Meter, and basically this entire video, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, I must explain to you the, the moment. Yes, the sir. Caused by ignorance, overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Yes. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. Watch where you're going. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, these niggas is uh -huh. a cap in each other's asses. Yes, so sir. They to get to but miss they miss. Every single shot like they just got off the set of a new hope. Yes. Once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Mm-hmm. Wasting. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening, yes, we do. I already knew bef this beforehand. H. Stink Meter. Now, yeah. even back in his childhood, Stink Meter Full of was hate. always an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets. <laughs> I forgot sunsets. about that. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this some old bush. Yeah. He came blind. To cancer. But the thing is, he didn't care. Yeah. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. So yeah. He only gave him three years left to live. Damn. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sh sing giggles. And the thing mm -hmm. is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, it's basically a Sith Lord. And yeah. drove him to live every single day. Facts. It'd be like that sometimes. pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima in Atlanta. Ah, uh, not in Atlanta. World Jesus Christ, it's like truck who done possessed this man. Wait a minute. As I'm now thinking about it, who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license? Whoever Bro, I just bought that shirt. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, as we see this man is speeding is. through a parking lot going at least 50, and he's yeah. like bagging in the grave. Hits a, oh, yeah. He's like, there not be nobody in my parking lot. So this man gets out of his car, and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 
1-800-collecting ass whooping, partner. So granddad says, yo, bro, are you y blind? You bumped yes, into me. I am. You got a problem with that, nigga? There we go. I was Just waiting like for that. that. Robert Freeman has been trapped in a... In a... Yeah. So he says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink meaner like, well, I'll be doing them a favor. favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ. Starfire. Down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Mm. Nigga, ass you whooping. You have insurance. Ass whooping insurance. <laughs> yeah. You about to pay. They deductible. The <laughs> oh, bro. Can either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away. walk away and let insurance handle it. Or B, B. fight with an old crazy mm -hmm. blind man. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So yep. And he him. He failed. He's spitting in his face. He like, what you gonna do? He huh? weaved. Ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nick ah! You gonna do something about it, bitch ass, nick <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's so dude. in character. I love it. Demonic and despicable things you can. He steps do. on them yeah. shoes, the clean oh, shoes. I smell new, new shoes. shoes. This man on Bro, and the white oh, ones too. Hell no. Bro, this is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. Uh -huh. And now, now, if you replay it back, look how we stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his Yeah, he charged it up. 90 degree angle and went, yeah. yeah. Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he's mm -mm. like, yeah, they ain't new in him already. Yeah, go. So then, Granddad the final straw goes for a punch. So granddad swing at him, but we what dodges uh -huh. him, he's like, ah! Kneecaps! Yeah. Ah! Oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by oh, Lord, Lord, so Lord. We had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, it's over. So later on, after granddad uh -huh. was just fully embarrassed, everybody just start making fun of him. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> Could it God. be me get my ass whooped by, by old blind. Monica? Then later that night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, look on the news and he like, It's just in. A fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man in another. <laughs> and it wasn't just local news. Not the kneecap. was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City calling him a piñata. Mm. So then he <laughs> started rigging and guess who That's left funny. the voicemail. Oh, great old Grunko, great uncle, Uncle Ruckus. No relations. So it got <laughs> don't walk away. That later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meaner, and challenged mm -hmm. him to a fight. So Round two. Training, thinking he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream uh -huh. about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting. Yeah, gaslighting the whole thing. Tate or something. So now it's the night of the fight, and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for $10. So they start squaring up and stink me. They're like, yeah, you scared? You scared? Ain't you a bitch, nigga? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's right off of you. Mm -hmm. That's vintage. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh, my God. He's just he a crazy old blind guy. Blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was mm -hmm. just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Granddad yeah. started whooping that ass. Bro, I gave him a show you can hang it and started kicking up like <laughs> And then granddad loaded. Now wind up. Falcon Pine. Fatality. And bust out his old, him old teeth. Killed, killed him. All because Bro, that nurse was fine. The moment. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to exhibit B. Exhibit B is the best exhibit Finally, ever. I now present to you exhibit B. The From the return. grave. So as we know, Stink Meaner died. But uh, what did we know? This was just the beginning. Yes, this man sir. Is in hell, training with the devil. Yeah. Demons. And even the devil said, He's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. This uh -huh. man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest. I acknowledge you. 
That is the most legendary feat of all time. He even Ooh. called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, yeah. Turtle H stink meter. I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. <laughs> Hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. Uh huh. Possesses so uh, Mr. Dubois. The equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Facts. Stink meter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened. The equivalent of a no sabo kid in the Mexican community. <laughs> Hispanic community? Ah, whatever. Same diff. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom, I'm like, a bleaker on and everything. Hey, come on, man, you Ninkum poop. You, you can't do that. Hey, 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 come back here. I have my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude what turns around and just start cussing him out. He's yeah. Like, Fuck you, punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass nigga. I'll beat your mother. Oh and my god. Ass, yes. Of your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now as we can. And the best more. <laughs> what they just say? See, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was yes. the perfect time for Stink Meter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Yeah. Yeah. This man. Oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. Look you, look at you. You was talking about that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked, kicked in, in your man. chest. Yeah, you. We the dick, nigga. You. Yeah, we the dick. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Bro, so, so, the funniest the episode hey, ever created. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink, by Stink Mina. Mina. So this man, Stink Mina, got him acting up in the courtroom. Bro got up in there and said, F*** your court, nigga. Yeah. Then later on, bro goes home to And Tom Banks' Lee. wife. And he's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. booty cheeks. Oh, I want to have a relation. That's the same thing that's about to get, get into you. And he oh, yeah. Oh, Bro, right there? Respect. <laughs> my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl, Doonies. Nah, uh -huh. that's crazy. And he does it better than you? Because we can all agree, Mr. Dubois' game is weak. We can all agree on that, right? Tom's game is weak. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet. Yeah. The bar is going crazy right now. So oh, he was doing like MySpace or something. Or the Facebook. And he's like, I'm, I'm yeah. Like, yo, what in the Shining is going on right now? So mm -hmm. granddad started running down Bro, the steps. If you watch the uncensored version, granddad is packing for no reason. Well, there's a reason, but <laughs> I didn't need it to know. Package is hanging out. So Steve are saying, you don't remember me? You don't remember my What's name? my name? What's my name, nigga? What's my What's name? my name, Robert? What's my name? So then Huey finally says his Stink name. Stink like, Ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to go. Oh, bro. So the and the theme song was playing in the background. Crazy. For a body Huey, they said, we're going to jump you. Like, nah, I'm going to jump y'all. Or is this right what's that? And he is still yeah. continuing to yeah. body the whole family. Look at this chop. <laughs> then he like, is that all y'all got? Yeah. Then look at this backhand of Huey. Oh, my <sighs> So they finally end up pinning him down. And Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained on this. And they bring Robert in Uncle Ruckus. Date. So in the middle of his date, Stink me to wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh. She's no. supposed to be Latina, bro. You could have done a better voice, a better accent. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. You weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic Church to Nah, end. bro. Nah, bro. No. The thing is, she was into the devil stuff. The thing that made her walk away is because he lied about the devil stuff. Besides this man. So there was only one man ah, that saved the day. Uncle Rock has no hey, relations. God bless you, Robert. I came as fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a and nice shot. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get demonetized. The uh, a nice day. A brand and iron. 
a job application. I hope I don't get that. <laughs> brother will make excuses. If he get desperate, that brother may try to Starting rap. to rap. Oh, yes. You can That's hear powerful. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up. Oh, he didn't see the line. It's powerful. Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read. Read. Oh. Well, then they start beating this man on the bed and saying some phrases that I, I'm going to be honest with you. Get, in, I know yeah, get out of here. Friendly. Get out of here. I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do a moment. was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally uh -huh. he was exercising his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. Oh, the stink mean a family? Finally, Bro, that was a I crazy. You, that was a crazy C, fight. The hateocracy. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet the hateocracy. A group oh, yeah. of bitter old hating ass. Yeah, it, it wasn't his family. It was a, a gang that he made while he was in the retirement home. Consisting of Colonel H. Stink Meaner. Oh, that goes hard. This crab Meister, Lady crab -meister. Esmeralda Gripe Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now, you see, <laughs> they all met at a retirement home and yeah. they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated, they hated everybody, hated everybody else. else even more. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Look at them stealing and jello and crashing bingo parties b4 b4 bingo nigga <laughs> 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 I win. Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop him because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, mm -hmm. till they split up. But because of the death of Stink Meaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So yeah. we cut over the Ruckus working at this gas station. Oh, yeah. They pulled floor. up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh, hell, oh, nah. what the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? The Curious George exhibit? We the Freemans. For Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you tell me mm -hmm. you know Robert then. Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. He's like, like, nah. You don't got to do that. I'll tell him. Breaking news, a man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had <laughs> no say, relation. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. They're bad, <laughs> wild animals. Police say the I forgot they whooped them up. Large. It's yeah, been so long since I've seen that Ruckus episode. Got jumped. Yeah. And that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's mm. right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So yeah. they go outside, and there they are. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. We came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh, Bro, oh, no, they got a hop at this I age. a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this. I already know I'm about to get my And she did a flip, so too. get the scrappy, and they uh huh. Damn. Oh, Lord, she beat me. Bro, Riley acts the most gangster, but he gets his ass whooped the most. Like, come on, Riley, do better. Riley. Oh, and uh, fun fact: she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit. Uh huh. Him, but she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely plain homage. Damn. Red, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. But That's they true. ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, mm -hmm. while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing. But and he the ends other up man. The Rufus. So he's like, come on, and how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Stink Meter? Oh, wait. You already should. Because you killed Kill him. Killed him. Robert Freeman! So bruh starts swinging this. Death trap, yeah. Is. So Robert started get to step, but dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs Ooh. in his face. Oh lord! 
So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown. Yeah, be Bushido so Brown. He was crazy. House. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key started working him. Oh my uh -huh. God. Look how he beat old girl. Beat the wig off that bitch. Yeah. Boom. Damn. And he hit him with the finish. <laughs> nah, bro. This man Bushido Brown was cold. Bro, he was. Because uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Bro, this caught that man lacking. Oh, uh -huh. my God. You know, you got to censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new pop, so you don't want to make Mama Susan mad now, do you? <laughs> so Granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry. We I don't care about that. Moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your uh -huh. pardon. They just yeah, wanted. our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? No. Yeah. No, bro. This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No. Nah. They literally came and did all this. All for sh and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. Facts. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Mm-hmm. Psych. Psych. Exhibit Yeah. B. And I would say I don't know this Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome Maybe to uncharted territory. This was in season the four. Territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit B. I now present to you the clone. So you see, yeah, Stink okay. wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Stink Meaner answered the ad on uh blackpeoplemeet.com. Okay. And the government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Stink Meaner and it says, Dear clone me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Stink. So later mm, on, Robert okay. is at the mall and he sees the first back of his car is rammed Damn. into him. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's right. I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, what? nah, bro. I ain't having this today. I'm just going to have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this uh -huh. man's state meter is moving. And he's like, oh, yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look the super that. serum. Like, Judo throw, sidekick, boom. Damn. And people recording Robert getting back. Oh, yeah, I totally don't so remember you know this, this episode. episode. Was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember Skype, man? Yeah. Fact, anybody even still use Skype? But anyway, nah. Stink me on the phone and he like, what's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I don't know yeah. you told Tom about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. Toodaloo, Damn. Robert. Toodaloo. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting mm -hmm. Stink me. But then... This is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house. Okay. Like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meaner, so uh, I bailed him out. And now we have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight. Okay. Event Damn, they were selling shades and ball caps? And everything. But Damn, she kind of bad. For this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over, and he was slowly becoming more like stink me okay so it's the night of the fight and you can obviously see the world wrestling and entertainment the ball spot and everything bro no became chance what he wanted to destroy so they start to fight and robert just kicked him in the Damn. Face. so stink me like oh i see you must have took some karate classes or something damn so yeah bro this wasn't even a fight robert gave this man the most damn with that back spin kick you have to think about though this isn't really robert all this is is just robert under Stink Meaner's influence, he mm -hmm. ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy an old, hating ass nigga. So mm -hmm. he ended up having to stop it. He's like, Granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And you like, look at the whole crowd, bruh. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. Yeah. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stinkminer like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. Damn. <laughs> nah, bro. Ain't no hey, way. This man could have just stopped all this hate if you just asked him. Nah, that's crazy. So we cut three months later. 
And this man stink meter outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy stink over? That's up, Robert. So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Meter say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. <laughs> at seven. <laughs> PhD and Hayden. I like that. I feel like I remember the ending, though. Oh, well, that's it. No outro. Ah, uh, bro. Bro, I would love... <sighs> The second episode was my favorite one ever. What's really good? Ah, uh, bro, Sigmaner. I was waiting for this because I knew this day was coming. And I and I ask and I shall receive. Anyways, people of Earth, the the link to the original video down in the description below. Obviously, go watch it yourself. Go like it yourself. Support CJ the Champ, okay? And support me by liking and subscribing. See you all at the next reaction. Bye bye.